Unlike most of its rivals, the Honda Ridgeline has represented one of the options in its range that can be considered as different. While the mid-size pickup truck segment has become more familiar with traditional body-on-frame pickups that provide ample towing and capable off-road capabilities, the Ridgeline is there for those who are looking for a more comfortable and fuel-efficient option. For years now, we've seen several upgrades made to the Honda Ridgeline that has seen it become more and more of a supercar in its range, with only a few trucks being able to come close in comparison. For 2023, there will be no changes from what we got in 2022, as we'll only be getting a rollover with no changes this time around. Whether you decide to buy the 2022 Ridgeline or the one for 2023, the truck is among the best you can have. And to further buttress that, we'll be taking a look at five things to know before buying the Honda Ridgeline. Do stay tuned and enjoy. If you're new to the channel, well, this is Cars in Reach. And if you've not already taken the action, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And let's get you going with the latest updates on some of the newest cars in the industry, as well as some other automobile content you definitely would like. Now, let's head back to what we have for you today. Before taking a deep dive into those important things you need to know before buying, let's take a quick look at what to expect with the truck. To start with, the Ridgeline will be coming with the 3.5 litre V6 engine that produces 280 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque, while also being connected to a 9 speed automatic transmission with all wheel drive also coming as standard. The engine will be pretty cool and it is extremely competent on the road, though one small notable flaw is the Ridgeline's braking performance. Interior features will also be based on practicality and comfort, with Honda choosing to load up the Ridgeline with cool features, while also having the cabin designed and built with materials that are above average. An 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system with a physical volume knob, as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capabilities, will also add to the standard infotainment features to come with the truck. The Ridgeline will also not be short of driver assistance features, as it will be getting a host of them, including forward collision warning, automated emergency braking, lane departure warning, and adaptive cruise control. For price, the base Ridgeline will cost around $40,095, while its Black Edition top trim will have a price close to the $50,000 mark. With all these said, now let's take a look at the breakdown of things you'll need to know regarding the Honda Ridgeline. Number 1. It is available in four trims. Just as seen with the 2022 variant, the 2023 Honda Ridgeline will be getting four trims, which are Sport, RTL, RTL-E, and the Black Edition. The base model is the Ridgeline Sport, and even though it is still a decent option, it doesn't really have much in terms of features to really show what you can expect with the others. Although all the trims of the Ridgeline will be based on Honda's style of developing a fuel-efficient and comfy pickup, the base model offers little in terms of features. And compared to the RTL trim that comes second in the lineup, the difference is quite evident. If you're interested in an option that offers you a mix of value and a couple of other desirable features, then the RTL is worth considering. And the interesting thing about it is that it only costs $3,000 more than the Sport trim. The RTL trim will come with a leather-trimmed cabin, comprising of heated front seats and power-adjustable seats. The Black Edition top trim will also be one to look out for, as it does come with a leather-trimmed interior, ambient lighting, and a range of features based on infotainment and also how the interior is loaded. Number 2. Price well, even though nothing really changes when you look at both trucks for the 2022 and 2023 model years, the new Ridgeline will experience a slight increase in price from what was offered with its predecessor. For 2023, the base sport trim will have a price of $40,095, while the value-oriented RTL will cost $43,075. Also, the third RTL e-trim will be available for around $46,025, and for the top trim, buyers should be ready to pay around $47,525 for this truck. By comparison with its main rivals, the Honda Ridgeline actually represents the pickup truck in its range that does come with the highest starting price. The truck's main rivals will be the Jeep Gladiator, Chevrolet Colorado, GMC Canyon, Nissan Frontier, and the Ford Ranger. 
all of which have an average cost of around $31,000. The Jeep Gladiator will cost $38,765. The Chevrolet Colorado will cost $28,105. The GMC Canyon will have a price of $30,480. The Nissan Frontier will start at $30,485 while the Ford Ranger will have a base price of $27,425. Out of all of the trucks, only the Gladiator comes really close to the price of the Ridgeline, and even though the Ridgeline can still be called one of the best cars in its range, these other options can also be worth your money. If you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel for more car news, updates, and reviews like this. Number 3. Better Fuel Economy one of the rather interesting things about the Honda Ridgeline from last year that we'll see again this year is the impressive fuel economy ratings that it will get. The Ridgeline will deliver 18 mpg in the city and 24 on the highway, with these figures making it the best truck in its range when it comes to fuel economy. This position will actually be shared with GMC Canyon that also posts similar figures, though for the Canyon, you'll be getting this from a diesel engine as opposed to the gas engine that comes with the Ridgeline, with this being one of the admirable things about the truck. To add to this, the Ridgeline will also be fitted with an eco-assist system that will provide information to drivers on how fuel efficient they are. With it, drivers will also be able to monitor a color-changing display close to the speedometer to see when they're wasting fuel. What's more is that there will also be an econ button which can help to alter the performance profile to save fuel. Generally, Honda has just done more to ensure that we're getting an option that is fuel efficient and will be the best in its range. Number 4. Lower Towing Capacity For all the impressive things present in the car, or for all that comes with the car, one thing that might be a downside for the Honda Ridgeline is that it will have a lower towing capacity. The Ridgeline will only have a meager 5,000 pounds towing capacity that is pretty small considering that it comes with the same engine as its competitors, and those ones even offer more. The Ford Ranger, for instance, uses the same V6 engine but has a 7,500 pound towing capacity, which is 2,500 pounds more than the Ridgeline. However, when it comes to payload, the Ridgeline does better with its 1,600 pound capacity though this is still not convincing enough considering that the Ford Ranger is the more affordable option, with a starting price that is much lesser than what you have for the Ridgeline. Number 5. Limited to just a single engine option The Honda Ridgeline is usually considered to be less of a traditional pickup truck, and well, it will be coming with just a single engine option, which will be the lone 3.5 litre V6. While this engine is still very capable, you might want to skip the option to buy if you're looking for a hardcore pickup truck. The Honda Ridgeline, at its best, offers a bit of comfort and another bit where it can perform as a traditional pickup. And if that's something you want or you're comfortable with, then swooping for it will be an excellent choice. Of all the things you should know before buying the 2023 Honda Ridgeline, the biggest of it all is that there will be no changes coming with this new version. And should you already own a 2022 Honda Ridgeline and you've been considering whether or not to change, buying the 2023 option will be a wrong choice. Should you feel the need to change though, you might just want to opt for any of the other options available as the Ridgeline's rivals. As it is still basically what we got for the 2022 model year, buying the 2022 Ridgeline now will be an excellent option considering the lower price it has coupled with the fact that it is already available in market. What are your thoughts on the 2023 Honda Ridgeline? Kindly respond in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well as turn on the notification bell button. See you in the next video.